I'm not ready. Stop controlling it. We're not starting yet. If you control me one more time, I swear to God. <laughs> All right. I am going to skull fuck you. How about you not look like a gaffer in a USC grad film? I'm sorry that what? my husband... I mean, this is what you normally do. You, so. <laughs> you are threatened by Ian. I'm not saying it. <laughs> Quintuple threat, Ian Edwards, soccer star, <laughs> star. writer, star, well, you have a podcast, Play. so yeah, yeah, yeah. writer, comedian, and passionate Zionist. Zionist? Yes. Where'd you, where'd you get the Zionist part from? Yeah. Huh? Coffee? No, I'm good. Thanks, man. That's a fuck you. <laughs> no, that's just no coffee. Ian let me know that he's a vegan. Right, right. Okay, let's talk about that for a second. Because I've always been very attracted to your energy, right, but right. when I heard vegan, I mm -hmm. stopped. <laughs> I'm Has a, it affected your game with women? Uh, I don't know. I've been a vegan so long. I don't know. So That's women don't mind that career. you're a vegan? No, no. Not in L.A. We're in L.A. Larry, bring the blueberries and walnuts. I'm right here. You don't have to scream. <laughs> Ian also just ran a marathon. Yeah. And it was, you know, an exhilarating experience walking alongside the you, runners. You did and, the uh, L.A. marathon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. You ran awesome. alongside. What was your time? Uh, I got to 11 mile mark in like half an hour. So you did half a marathon? Yeah. Half a marathon. Larry does a thing called rocking, which is a combo of run walk. I don't know if you want to talk about it and shut me down if you don't, but you had a really long toward passionate affair with a girl named Rosh Hashanah. Yeah, I did it, I did it a Hanukkah. <laughs> a Shushan Purim? Uh, a Shushan Purim. And they're just really black girls. With Jewish holiday names. With Jewish holiday names, yeah. Do you know what Rosh Hashanah is? It's a big holiday. What is it again? I forgot. She doesn't know. It's the Jewish New Year, the which Jewish we New celebrate year. apples and honey. So I felt like you had a horrible breakup with Rosh Hashanah. Mm -hmm. But around Rosh Hashanah, the holiday, you have apples and honey. Apples do you honey? feel like honoring your Her? ex fuck buddy and having apples and honey? Oh. Or do you feel like he probably... That's your cute little thing. <laughs> it's not a, Don't demean me, because you know what? <laughs> so you write. Yeah, all right. Can you help actors get hired? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Could you get me on your show? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Stop possibly. Stop sucking his dick and trying to get on crashing. Why <laughs> apples and honey? For a sweet new year with honey. See they can't see it. Mm -hmm. See that? Apples and honey. Okay, if you've got to stop woman handling, <laughs> because I'll tell you one thing. We're coming up on 10 years, and we're not going to make it. Larry wanted to renew our vows. The I mean, only people who renew their vows. What was what were the last vows like? <laughs> the vows I gave, he I plagiarized. cried. He plagiarized. No, he plagiarized the Great no, Gatsby. I took one of her he, greatest quotes ever from the ga Great Gaps, mm -hmm. Gatsby. And plagiarized. Which, and you didn't say F. Scott Fitzgerald. You, just you said it by Larry Clark. I, I, gave, I gave a very good vow. I cried. I quoted from F. Scott Fitzgerald, mm -hmm. and she just stared at me like this, not crying at all, just mm -hmm. like, then she did a bunch of jokes. She did as her vows? Yeah, kind of. she did jokes <laughs> as vows. I remember staring at him weeping mm -hmm. under our hookah being like, is this what I'm stuck with? You were weeping? You were weeping. Oh, I did. Weeping. What's a hoopa? Everything you need to know about Jews, mm -hmm. you can learn from Fiddler on the Roof. And I'm dead serious. Have you seen Fiddler, the movie? A long time ago. If you got an invitation saying, come to our renewal of the vows, wouldn't you be like, someone got a hand job in the back of an Uber? And that's why they're renewing their vows. Like, someone always cheated. Oh. Like, someone got their dick sucked to the split kitty in Encino. So you don't think they would just, like, want to renew it because, just because of love? Yeah. Do you feel like... The women on crashing mm -hmm. would be ideal as a mate for you. Uh, my co-workers? Uh-huh. In this Me Too time? Yeah. I can't. <laughs> I can't. You can't throw it, slip can't, something in there and just nah, say, hey, listen, let's, not let's put any, Me Too aside? Not taking any chances. You work, I, you work with Judd Apatow. Anyway. Do you think there's a possibility like, that Judd would watch this? Judd? I tell him. I'm a big fan. Like well, I'm going to send 40. my reel to you. You didn't Ian. like This Is 40. Maybe you should get tell Judd that. Would you stop it? I did like it. I just had some questions. <laughs> I'm dead serious about you know, honestly think <laughs> that Judd might watch this. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll tell him that. I, I, so when I, is it, it coming It's not been a good year for me. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to tell Judd to watch this. Judd is not going to watch this shit. Judd just said it. Are you Pleasure. the new bloated Seth Rogen? 